We all have those things that we hold near and dear. Sometimes it's a special sweater. Sometimes it's a haircut. And sometimes, you know, it's just the makeup that we use. I have no problem with blue eyeshadow. Anyway, um, my dear husband, um, we had been married for several years, and he is no exception. He held on to his mullet. Now, he, my husband has gorgeous hair gorgeous thick beautiful hair and it was long and it was a mullet but he looked good and I wasn't going to say a thing this went on for several years and nothing was ever said until we were invited to a wedding it was my family of course someone from out of state was getting married and they were having a reception in Utah so we showed up at the reception and uh, said hello to family members and then were invited to sit at a specific table. Now, this is the fun part. As Danny and I looked around, uh, we could tell immediately that um, everyone at this table was special needs, with the exception of Danny and I. That's okay with me because I love our special people. Wonderful. Couldn't have been a better table. It was great. We started off talking and laughing and just having a grand time. Everyone really got to know each other and there was a lot of giggling and laughing and great conversation. Other tables, not so much fun. You know what I mean? Well, all of a sudden, there was a young man that was sitting uh, next to Danny, and they'd been talking, uh, having a great time, when all of a sudden he sat up really straight and sort of, you know, adjusted his jacket a little bit, and he's he turned to Danny and he said, Hey, dude, cool mullet. I burst out giggling. I couldn't help it. It was the sweetest little thing. Everyone else at the table started giggling. Danny just smiled and nodded. Well, the night went on, and it was a wonderful night, and we went home, and I never said another thing about, hey, dude, cool mullet. But lo and behold, not even two days later, my dear sweet husband showed up at home, his hair nice and short, cut close and short, no mullet. And that is the story of Danny and the mullet and... Bye-bye to the 70s.